This is Mia Swan Ashraf and uh, I'm an author, businessman, motivational speaker and social activist. And uh, today I will teach you how to speak English fluently. Uh, first of all, my very dear all students, I would like to inform you that always keep one thing in your mind, that English is a language and it can be learned just like the way you learned Urdu language, you learned Punjabi language, you learned uh, Sindhi language, you learned Saraiki language, any other language that you have already learned, English is just like the same language that you can learn. And uh, I would like to inform you, um, first of all, always keep one thing in your mind. Um, if you are thinking that you would be able to speak English fluently within six months or three months or two months, so that's not going to happen. I got a news for you, I'm telling you again, that's not going to happen. It is a continuous process that you need to follow. And um, I would like to give you an example um, in, in order to empower my point of view, what I've just informed you earlier. Do you remember when we were kids, at that time, um, we were unable to walk properly, we, we were unable to speak properly. And at that time, there were our parents, family, friends, uh, siblings and neighbors who used to teach us at the time we used to make mistakes just like the way when you will be speaking English you're gonna make so many mistakes but that doesn't mean that you need to give up what you really need to do is not to give up at all and this friend it keep one thing in your mind it's a continuous process now for those of you who are trying to learn English um, or um, within six months, uh, I've told you before, you've been uh, struggling for years to speak English within six months, but you're unable to get the job done. It's because you don't keep one thing in your mind that it's a continuous process. Well, uh, let's get ahead. Um, I would like to inform you that if you really want to speak English, then you, what you really need to do is to listen it. You know, good writers are the ones who are good readers. Just like the way, if you want to be a good speaker, what you actually need to do is to you have to be a good listener. Good listener are good speakers. Um, let me give you an example. If you remember, when we were kids at that time, we didn't know about any language. We were unable to speak any language, right? At that time, what we did? We started listening to people. We started listening to our parents, we started listening to our siblings, neighbors, friendly friends. And at that time, uh, once we done listening, what we did, that we started speaking. We did make a few mistakes in this talk. And when we made, mix, uh, made a few mistakes at that time, our parents, they tried to fix our mistakes. And this ran it. So, slowly, slowly, with the passage of time, uh, the time came when we started speaking good Urdu, good Punjabi. So, in start, when you will be speaking English, you will be making a lot of mistakes. But you don't need to give up, you need to speak it. So, what I wanted to inform you is that you need to be a good listener if you want to speak English. What next? I would like to inform you that you need to start speaking English by following phrases. Yeah, phrases really gonna help you speak English fluently. If you remember, let me give you an example. When you were a kid at that time, you didn't know anything about sentences. Even now, you are a good English speak, um, Urdu speaker, you're a good Punjabi speaker, you're a good Sriraki speaker. But what if I ask you, do you know about the sentences of Urdu language? What your answer going to be? Your answer will be that you know nothing about the sentence, yet you are speaking good Urdu, good Punjabi, right? Because sentences do not really teach you how to be a good English speaker. What it really does is that if you have a good practice of listening English and you memorize phrases in this thought, then you are going to be a good English speaker. There is a story, wonderful, inspirational story that I want to discuss with you. 
You know, once upon a time, uh, there is a journalist, um, Javid Chaudhry, if you if you know him. You know, once upon a time, um, he actually joined um, a party somewhere. He went, and a guy, um, he was like having a lot of oil on his hair. So he came to him and uh, he met with him and said, "Sir, uh, I wanna pass a CSS exam or PMS exam, and I wanna be a police officer, civil servant, or some something like that." And you know what Javed Chaudhry told him? Javed Chaudhry just had a look at him and he just, you know, saw him from head to toe and then he, what he observed, he observed that um, the guy who was asking him whether he can pass CSX, CSS exam or not, he was wearing a very bad dress and um, he was like, as I've mentioned earlier, he was, he put a lot of oil on his head and um, he, he used, you know, um, he was wearing cream on his face, like, and um, Javed Chaudhry asked him one question. He says, um, do you speak good English or is your English okay? And he says, uh, no, sir, um, my English isn't okay. And Javed Chaudhry told that guy, um, sorry, dear fellow, you cannot pass CSS exam. I'm sorry to inform you that, but that's truth. And that guy, he was really disappointed after hearing that. What did he do? He actually suddenly tears, you know, came out of his eyes and it st they started rolling down on his cheeks and went down on, on, on the place on earth. And he cried a lot. Um, while being disappointed, he went back home and about three to four years. He struggled day and night. He struggled day and night in order to fix his English. And what he really did? He did a lot of struggle. Like he did much struggle to pass the exam. And one day, that poor guy, he visited Javed Chaudhry in Islamabad in his office. And when he went to him and um, a peon was um, standing in front of the door and he said, uh, please, um, I want, would like to meet Mr. Javed Chaudhry. And the PN says, um, uh, why do you want to meet him? He says, just tell him that um, a guy really wants to meet him. And uh, he says, the PN says, sorry, he's busy. And the same guy said, tell him that uh, assistant superintendent of police uh, officer has come to meet him. The PN went to Javed Chaudhry and says, uh, ESP came to meet you. And he, Javed Chaudhry said, okay, uh, send him. Uh, ask him to come to my office. But when that guy went to meet Javi Chaudhry, he says, uh, Hi sir, how are you? I am ASP. And uh, he said, Yes, um, what do you want? And that same guy said, um, I am the guy who came to you about three to four years back and I ask you whether I can be a civil servant or not or whether I can be a police officer or not by uh, passing CSS exam or PMS exam and uh, Joshua said what well, then what happened and said you told me that I cannot do that but I did it and t today I am ESP and David Chaudhry was really inspired and he said like how oh, it happened man um, your English wasn't good and how did you pass your exam and how did you clear your interview and ESP says when I went back home I really cried and my English was very bad I didn't know what to speak when to speak how to speak and how to fix my English and I had teachers English teachers and they were unable to speak and write so uh, an idea came into my mind that in order to fix my English I need to memorize, I need to follow a way of rote learning and I need to memorize a lot of phrases. So I memorized approximately three to four thousand phrases. And with the help of those phrases, I cleared my written exam and with the help of those phrases, which I memorized very well, I cleared my interview. I spoke what even the interviewer they were unable to understand because I just memorized um, the phrases. So, dear ladies and gentlemen, there is a moral of story. If you really, really want to fix your English, what you really need to do is to start 
focusing on the phrases. So, um, in order to fix your spoken English, what I gotta do is that I will teach you each phrase one by one. And um, there are many students um, who have already learned a lot of phrases, but um, since I've started making um, video clips in order to fix your English, so I will take start 